Get ready. We're going viral. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another installment of the Viral Podcast. I am your host, Chelsea Lynn. And I'm your host, Paige Jen. And thank you for joining us and listening. We've got a great episode planned out for you. Mm, but man, <laughs> I'm a little tired. You are, honeys? Yes, honeys. What's going on? I just, you ever have those days or those nights where you just cannot fall asleep? Yep. That was me You couldn't last sleep night. last night? What, what was going on? Um, I was itchy. Vagina or what? Just, yeah, Arms. The, just everything. I felt hot, itchy. That's why I cannot sleep in the, I got to have either a fan, two fans, air conditioning. Like I, if I'm any, if I'm warm, can't sleep. Yeah, I think that's what it was. And maybe even horny. Really? Maybe I needed to uh, not. Why didn't you wake Brett up? I started rubbing on him and he's like, it's 4 a.m. <gasps> Brett, it doesn't matter. That that's that's what she keeps you around for, bro. Mm-hmm. Wake up and fuck her. I messed up. I should have just, but I hit it at six a.m. instead. Okay, so he gave. Okay, <laughs> yeah, but I still didn't sleep. Oh, that's the oh, that's the worst. And it, mm. then you feel like a zombie all day. Mm, honey. So hey, honey, zombie here. Hey, honey, zombie here. Are you ever? Do you ever sleep and you can't sleep at night and you're thinking, oh, I wish I could just. Snap my fingers and it's tomorrow. Like that's yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, usually I can fall asleep in like ten seconds. Yeah. Oh, not me. Really? I fall. I put my head down, and then I knew. I knew. Wow. I could not sleep. It, but it's like you okay over there because I kept moving. You know. I knew it was going to be a long night. I, she's probably just excited for the day. It know? does not matter how tired I am. It takes me time to go to sleep. I hate it. Greg, 30 seconds, he's snoring. I'm like, must be nice. What do you do? For, Why can't you fall asleep? Dude, it just, my whole life, it just takes, I don't care if I, I mean, it just takes a minute, a while, sometimes up to an hour or more. Do you like count sheep? No, I just lay there. <laughs> and I can't be on my phone. If I'm on my phone, I'll, you know, so I'll like put my phone and I'll just lay there. Dude, just, I'm hungry. Yeah. I'm on Cheesecake Factory. Let's go to Cheesecake Factory after this. Mm, what's that pasta I get with the, it has like peas in it? It's falafel. No, not falafel. Falafel. Something like that. Falafel pasta. Yeah, it's fucking Dude, good. Cheesecake Factory is mm, is bomb. Yeah. They're not sponsored. Although, that'd be great, dude. Hey, Cheesecake, reach out. A Cheesecake Factory sponsor? Oh, I would not know what to do with myself. Even if they just sent us a gift card, dude. <laughs> For a hundred bucks. <laughs> dude, I'd be over the moon. Because that means they know about us. Exactly. And you want Cheesecake Factory to know who you are. Mm-hmm. At least I, we do. Yeah. <sighs> I love it. Um, I write down some topics because when I'm not with you, I'm like, oh, I could bring this up on the podcast. Oh, honeys, yeah. So I heard this. Um, we were listening to Jimmy Fallon, and he said his wife buys stuff, and if she doesn't like it, like if she doesn't get a compliment on it, she'll take it back, her clothes. What? And I was wondering if you did that. I've never heard of that. I know. I'm like, she must be buying Versace kimonos or, you know, There's in no order way. to take it back. It. I don't, I can't remember the last time I got caught. No, like that's, I've never heard of that in my life. Me either. She'll take it back if she doesn't get a call. Mm-hmm. But what if she likes it? I don't know. That's what's weird. If she Whoa. doesn't get a single compliment, she'll take it back. What? <laughs> My mom just likes to buy things and take it back. She's I've, bored. <laughs> y'all have told me that, that Brett's mom, like, she's bored. So she'll, like, go buy things and then take them home and wait a couple days and go and take them back just so she has something to do, mm-hmm. which is crazy to me. Or she'll just vacillate, like, on an object for, like, three months. Like, what color of towel should I get? What car should I get right now? Mm-hmm. Whoa, dude. Mm-hmm. Brett, I love your parents, though. God bless them. Holy crap. Yeah, I just never have heard of that, so I was like, hmm, wonder if Chelsea does that. I have ne- Dude, I will know, and how people, like, don't... I've heard how people don't, like, to keep clothes, like, if they wear it so many times, like, to be seen in it. Even if you're not, like, a celebrity, you're not rich, like, normal people will, like, once they've been seen in an outfit a few times, they, like, get rid of it and get new. And I'm like, I've had clothes, mm-hmm. the same clothes, 
for 10, tw- like literally for a long yeah. time. I wear the same Utah Jazz sweater every day. You do. My and sister FaceTime me. She's like, do you wear that every fucking day? Yep. Yep, I do. And you look cute in it, honeys. Thank you. I got yep. it from my grandma. You're welcome. Hand-me-downs are the best. They really are. Yeah. So that's my topic for the day. Okay, honeys. You want to go into the... Uh, the DM of the day, honey. DM of the day, honey. Play What's that. What's the DM for the day, honey? One more time. What's the DM for the day, honey? <laughs> I miss him. I do too. God. Okay. I will start off by saying <laughs> my DMs have been normal lately. It's been so hard. Usually I hop on there and I'm like, oh, this DM's great. Been dry? Dude, the crazies are chilling. <laughs> Where did they go? Maybe, I don't know, man. Maybe They're, the pandemic m- took them out. I, but it's been over. A, it's been a year and a half. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I did get kind of a crazy, well, not a crazy one, but I thought it was funny because it almost did make sense to me. This is from uh, a guy named Steve. Okay, mm. on Facebook, that's where all my DMs are. Steve, and he said, "I know you're a public figure, but I'd love to eat that pussy." <laughs> I just thought that was funny because it's like, huh? Like, I know you're a public figure, like, but, like, almost like, hey, I like, don't know. How'd you Like, if that? you were a normal, well, you are normal, but right. like, if you didn't have a following on social media, then it would be more acceptable. Right. I don't know. Or, I don't know. I just thought it was funny. I know you're a public figure and public figure, mm-hmm. like, that's just fun. Come, come get it. <laughs> Come eat this pussy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come out this pussy. What's yours, honeys? Well, you know, the topic of Brett playing with its mustache. So I put that on my story, and that's where all my replies come in. And I'm like, why does it annoy me when Brett touches his face? Mm-hmm. And this guy said, Oh, God. You do that with your pussy hair, so shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and he's not wrong. And he's not <laughs> wrong. But fuck you. <laughs> I love that he put, so shut up. Mm-hmm. I can't, yeah, I'm going to write him back and be like, K. Oh, that's the best response mm-hmm. is K. K. Just the capital K. <laughs> Dude, do it right now. K. You probably won't be able to find it right now, but. Yeah, you I'll know, go search his whenever name. You, whenever you get a time. Mm-hmm. Dude, that's fucking funny, dude. Yeah, it kind of hit different. Yeah. Because. So shut up. Yeah. Well. <gasps> Trivia f- time, baby. I feel like every time we hear that, I feel like Tinkerbell. Mm-hmm. Get tri- Is that how you start it off? You yeah, have to honey. wait for the beat, honey. Oh, yeah, we're waiting on the beat, honeys. <laughs> Just waiting. It's spinning. The wait button's spinning. Trivi. Get trivi, y'all. Get trivi. Get trivi, y'all. Get trivi. Get trivia. Mm. And now. <laughs> wow. Mariah Carey you like that? has joined. That's what I was thinking about when I did it. <laughs> All right. I'm ready for trivia. First question. Uh, ready? Okay. Okay. How often is Rolling Stone magazine published? Once a month. Once a year. Bi-weekly. <laughs> Holy shit. That's yeah. over two weeks. So twice a month? Bi-weekly? I think that every means week. twice a week. No, honeys. No? Bi-weekly is every two weeks. Yes. Brett thought it Sorry. was twice a week. Sorry. I'm like, wow, that's a lot. Twice well, in one week? That doesn't make any sense. Either way, it's a lot. Because I said a year. I don't no. read the magazines and stuff. No. No. <laughs> nobody does that anymore. We have Instagram. Ain't nobody got time for that. Mm-mm. Next question. Number two. Mm-hmm. How many turtle doves are mentioned in the 12 day of Christmas? 12 days of Christmas. 12. Uh, no. Um. Can I guess again? You go, I can't remember what the 12 was. 11, I Piper's piping, 10, or two. Four, four calling, four, four. Four calling birds, oh, three, three French hands, two, tur- two. Yep. Okay. okay. <laughs> we have to sing that every year with Brett's family and stand on a blanket. <laughs> Five golden rings. And they make me dress up as a donkey. 
Oh, look, I'm wearing my donkey <gasps> shirt. Your cute donkey shirt. I love that shirt. Mm-hmm. It's my favorite. All right. All right. Third question, I believe. Yep. What Ready. cheese is traditionally used on a Reuben sandwich? Jack. Swiss. Swiss. Oh, shit. <laughs> You don't think I know my cheeses? I know you know your cheeses. Do you not think I know my cheeses? <laughs> Richard, I know everything there is about che- about cheese. Richard Slices, cheese? processed, fancy, it doesn't matter. I know about cheese. You don't think, as soon as you said Reuben, Swiss, 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 Swiss. Oh, my heart's pounding. I okay. shouldn't have even guessed. My heart's pounding. It's like <clears throat> Jack. I don't when know. I heard it jack was a, shit. When I heard it was a cheese question, my pussy started throbbing. Oh, you want me to make you a G cheese? Paige makes the... I don't want to talk about it because I'm hungry right now. Paige makes the best grilled cheeses. Mm -hmm. Did you know I used to not be able to say like grilled and uh, squirrel? My friend had to teach me on from Utah to Vegas how to say those words in like 12th grade. Because I would go squirrel, squirrel or something weird. We're pretty much the same person because I had that but with different words. Well, what? with the word, I used to could not say Roy. Roy? R-O-Y. The man's name, Roy. What I could, would you say, Roy? Roy like, I cheese? Ro- 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 like, I couldn't, I just couldn't say the oil, like, couldn't do it. Do you say oil? Yeah, oil. Beth goes all. All. That's a very, she said Tuesday today. I saw her this morning, she said Tuesday. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> just I like come a bit, out of the same hole Just her? like our grandma, dude. Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. Unreal. Oh, man. I got that right. I feel good about that. Thank you. Good job, Thank Swiss. You. Next question. Okay. How many fluid ounces make up a gallon? 36? Um, I would say 16. No, 32. 32. I don't fucking know. 128. Holy shit. See, measurements? Don't get me on those measurements. I always guess. What about a half gallon? 52. 128 divided by 2. You guys got that? Yeah, no. that'd be that'd be 64. <laughs> that was great. Good Dude, job. Brett goes, I said 64 and Brett was like <laughs> <laughs> I was just staring at you. Huh. His eyes are so wide right now. Cuz when we're not around you, he's always like, "Hey, I wonder if Chelsea would get this math question right." What's 8 times 7? <laughs> I don't know. You say 56 every time I ask you what 9 times 8 is. 56? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, one more or more? Yeah. Three, what two, yeah. what question are we on? Um, ooh, that's a great question. <laughs> Brett, you need to be keeping Come up, on, Brett. Brett. Yeah, I need to do better. We need to get him like a Let's little Let's do two more pack. questions. I'm going to start numbering these. Okay. Mm-hmm. What is a group of witches called? Fuck. <laughs> Stevie Nicks fans. Whoa. No, I don't know. Um uh, stirs. A coven. Well, I did. I knew that. I guess Not. I did know that, dude. I didn't know. Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> okay, next. <laughs> what does halitosis mean? Bad breath. Mm. Oh. Uh. I think we need one more. Do you guys even have one more for us? I can go, t- let's go two more, just because this is fun. Yeah. Do y'all play along, you know, at home or in your car? Are you, like, trying to guess, too? Like, I hope you're trying to guess with us. Are That'd you, be awesome. Or are you, like, get over with it? Yeah. No, they got to love this just as much as we do. <laughs> All right. What does the first A in NASA stand for? Association. Um, air, Ass. Air Air Force. Air. 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 Aeronautics. Oh, shit. Yeah. Why did I say force? How are we supposed to know that? Jesus. (laughs) (laughs) That pissed me off. (laughs) Yeah, how are we? Oh, my. One more? Let's do it. Last question we'll know so we sound smart. Yeah. What is the ability to shift from a two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive while the vehicle is moving? Or what's it called? What? Here, talk closer into your mic. And right. and don't ask that question. Do another one. Oh, really? Huh? Shift on the fly. That's See, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. No. Okay. People are probably in their car. Paige and Chelsea sure have <laughs> got that one. They're going, shift on the fly. <laughs> <laughs> Skip that one. <laughs> okay, one more. What 
mid 1980s McDonald's item came in a double container. I don't even remember this one. So I'm gonna say Big Mac. I'm gonna say the double double. The Mick DLT. I didn't. DLT. I don't know what that is. Dick lettuce tomato. <laughs> <laughs> the big old dick, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> DLT? That sounds like a disease. Look, that's bothering me. Hold on. What's a McDonald's DLT? What do you think it is? Let's take guesses. A DLT? Okay, I'm thinking it's double meat, lettuce, and tomato. McDonald's DLT is a... So they actually split the meat. It, yeah. Let me read it. Oh, sorry. I just Googled it. Sorry. This is our podcast. <laughs> this is my podcast. <laughs> okay. The McDLT was a cheeseburger that was served at McDonald's in a styrofoam container that split between the meat and the veggies and sauce. So it was all split up? Hmm. That is, no wonder it's not around anymore. That's not making sense. And it was $1.95. <sighs> Fuck. Wasn't even on the dollar menu. A, con- a container that split between the meat and the veggies and the sauce. Tomato and lettuce were the selling points of the menu item. This is the case because you got to keep the lettuce and the tomato cool and the beef hot. This item was discontinued off the menus in 1998 because its styrofoam packaging was really bad for the environment. Okay, so just put it in cardboard. Yeah, and... So it was a burger. So it was a burger with uh, the lettuce and tomato on the side. Oh, dude, look at the... <gasps> okay, look how the container was. Oh, let's see. We'll, we'll plop this up on our Instagram. Yeah, so... The Viral Podcast Instagram. The container was like... Sep- oh, oh, okay, wow. so it's an open-faced... Yes, uh, burger. Burger, that's it. With the lettuce and the tomato on one side, a split... And that's then, all it was. That's all it is. Which I guess is smart if you're not going to eat it right away. But let's uh, eat the burger right away and save some time. And save some styrofoam. Right. Wow. Wow. Thank you. And that was... Um, that was our uh, little uh, trivia thing. So Are we done? We're done with the trivia. Okay. But we got questions, boo. Okay. You ready to start those? Roll them. Okay. Here we go. So um, I just messaged you on Instagram because mm. you were cooking that goulash, Chelsea, and um, you used some butter lettuce. Um, when is your official cookbook coming out? Let's just. Lay it out there. Um, also, that was my daughter in the background. Um, but this is Haley Ross. Again, I think I Haley. call you Haley. <laughs> so, yeah, cookbook. Let's talk cookbook. And where did you learn to cook? Honeys. First off, when she said that was my daughter, uh, did you hear? You dumb fuck. You dumb fuck. I love you. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I love this question because I, I actually, I'm glad you asked because I get DMs about this all the time. Cookbook. cookbook. Nothing in the works now. I would love to do a cookbook one of these days. I feel like I don't have enough recipes um, to make a cookbook. How many do you need? Good question. <laughs> enough for at least a book, you yeah. know. Because I, I don't know, I've got a, I don't have enough now for a full blown cookbook, but I honestly have been working on like working on recipes and trying to make things my own and what I like. And I've tried, been trying to add here and add there with that in mind that I do eventually want to put out a cookbook. You have to. I, yeah. Um, That's your thing. Well, I love cooking. Uh, it's therapeutic for me. I love chopping vegetables. That's my thing. Like, I love, like, I have like, not, you know, knives and chop. Like, it just, oh, it just relaxes me. Um, how I learned to cook, all self-taught. So, growing up, there was really no cooking. We we ate stuff out of packages. We ate canned stuff, frozen. Little like, Debbie's. There was no, like, if we ate, if, if our mom or grandma cooked, I mean, it was from, a freezer or from warming up, you know, which is fine. I mean, that's fine. Some you know, ramen noodles, canned stuff. In terms of actually like cooking a homemade meal. And from scratch. Did not exist. And it wasn't until I grew up and really got married that I started cooking. And I realized, oh, I really like this, dude. I like, you know, it, I just love it. I you just like love it. what you like. Yeah, and some people do not like. Now listen, I don't cook five nights a week. 
if I did that, I wouldn't like it. Mm-mm. I the have clean up. To, and if you're like working all day and you're tired and you have to come home and clean, like, or come home and cook, dude, absolutely. Frozen pizza, frozen lasagna. That's trust me. I do my yeah. fair share of that. But what if I'm, if I have time and I'm, you know, then yeah, I'll cook like a big elaborate fresh dinner and I just love it. Cause it takes hours hours and I love feeding people like I love people coming over and be like oh this is good or I liked it like that makes me happy oh your fucking salad I make this put that in your menu yeah. your recipe book please okay I make this like a I guess it's like a Thai salad or mm-hmm. like a I don't know but and I I got the recipe from Pinterest and then I've just over time, just kind of taking stuff out, what I don't like, added stuff here. And that's what recipes are, dude. That's what, that's really mm-hmm. what you make them your own. Tweak them and, There's yeah. 500 different versions of pot roast. <laughs> you know, you make it your own. Meatloaf. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Spaghetti thank you. even. hmm Cookbook, you know, in the future, honeys. I can't wait. Yes. Get thank your you. pre-order now. <laughs> Eatmytrash.com. Pre-order your, <laughs> that made me happy. Thank you. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. This holiday season, I want to give a gift to a loved one and make them feel unique and special. That's why I'm gifting them with StoryWorth. StoryWorth is an online service that helps you and your loved ones preserve precious memories. Every week, StoryWorth emails a relative or friend a thought-provoking question of your choice from their copious amounts of options, like... What's the bravest thing you've ever accomplished in your life? After one year, StoryWorth will compile all of your loved one's stories, including photos, into a beautiful keepsake book that you will be able to share and revisit for generations. I dislike when I get asked questions about my parents and I don't know the answer to it because I probably should. So StoryWorth is going to help me just know my parents even on a better level. I want to gift a storybook to my parents just so that they can reflect back on their lives. Reading the weekly stories helps you connect with your loved ones, no matter how near or far apart they are from you. With StoryWorth, I am giving those I love the most a thoughtful, personal gift from the heart and preserving their stories and memories for years to come. Go to StoryWorth.com slash viral and save $10 on your first purchase. That's StoryWorth.com slash viral. To save ten dollars on your first purchase. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi, this is Jessica, and this message is actually for Paige. Paige, I'm wondering how you have such a nice asshole. It's perfect. I bought your coasters, and I am totally in awe over your asshole. Also, Kelsey, question. How do you make a pussy smell good? That's all. Have a good day, guys. She has not smelled your pussy, has she? <laughs> well, I will say she's she's spot on with you have a great asshole. And have I not told you that since pretty much the first time I met you? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Uh, I never knew it was perfect. Until I, I told you? Yeah, maybe until, I guess, Brett's told me and you. And well, I saw your butthole maybe the third time that we hung out, really. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and do you remember, I was yeah. like, man, yeah. you have a great butthole. Yeah. Like, And I'm like, for real? And then I think a, I gained confidence. Oh, she's got like the most perfect butthole, dude, and you've done nothing to it. There's no hair. There's no like, you don't need a bleach. It's as pink as you can get. There's no, I mean, you just have a great butthole. Thank you. I didn't know that there was like such a bad thing, like a thing like as a bad, bad but- buttholes. Well, until I saw some. Whose? Well, I can't say. Mine? No, not yours. Um, Whose? <laughs> oh, I can't. You can't. Can we say? I don't know. Well, I don't know. About? Uh, your friend. Our friend. <laughs> Brett? <laughs> no, in the. Well, Brett's too. In the pool. Remember? The pool and the Greg stuff in it. We took a picture. Oh, I'm going to puke. <laughs> okay, let's not let's not talk about that. Okay. I'm going to puke. <laughs> yeah, that mistake. Yeah. Um, but then I was at the beach one time and my other friend, she was wearing the thong underwear and I could see her butthole like spread. It was gross. I, 
it was sp- well it was just really dark and i'm like oh i wonder if my butthole's that dark and then it's not when you took a picture of it I knew there was a freckle on it from, I think, Brett telling me, but it's like a little Marilyn Monroe mm-hmm. signature freckle. Brett, if you're wondering what we were talking about, Brett, um, I'm not even kidding you, pretty much has pussy lips on his butthole. Mm-hmm. I've never seen anything like it in my life. Trauma. No, honey. He wipes his ass so hard. That's why I think that's what tears up your butthole. Uh, mine has not had a what? lot of trauma. Why do you wipe it hard? I just don't like poo in my bum. Well, no, but you can, like, you're wiping it hard enough to create lips. Dude, <laughs> that's, that's. <laughs> I need to start using wipes, wet wipes. Yeah. To, do. <laughs> to create Dude, lips. we're not kidding. You told me, you're like, Brett has pussy lips on his butt. And I was like, I got to, his butthole, like, I got to see this. Showed me, and I was like, how are you, how are there, dude, it's, I've never seen anything like it in my life. Ooh. It's crazy, nasty, dude. Nasty. I might have to revisit really looking at it. <laughs> I've I seen think. Greg's butthole. His <sighs> is just kind of like a hole. Like an <laughs> open wound, almost. Yeah. Yours is very elongated. Elongated? Yeah. The crack or the hole? Both. Well, <laughs> just the outer part, it's just longer. Yeah, I'll take a pic, honeys. Oh, I've got plenty. Okay. <laughs> It's I, not bad, though. I know what it looks like. It's not bad, and it's not dark. Oh, thanks, honey. And even if it, if it is, like, dark, a dark... Dude, you shit out of your asshole, yeah. and your butt cheeks rub together, created friction, your your butthole's gonna be dark. Yeah, why do people get them bleached? Honey, that's a... I don't know. I don't know, honeys. Do you get yours? <laughs> I forgot. I've never had mine bleached. I've used, like... It doesn't work. I've used, like, the bleaching... It doesn't work. But I've never, I, can you go get your butthole bleached? Have we spent too much time talking about buttholes? Well, I'm curious. Like, does it burn? No, it just feels like lotion. It's just like a lotion you put on. Hmm. Yeah, and it doesn't, it, I, I've tried it, it doesn't work. But is that a thing? Can you go get it bleached? Yeah, really? people do with that. I wonder do where it, you would go. I've heard of that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, a lot of people get their butthole bleached. Wow. We should go do it for a vlog. Mm-hmm. Mine it's, would disappear. Yeah, honeys, they would literally be like, um, ma'am, there's nothing to bleach. <laughs> We're going to double up and use yours on hers. <laughs> We're going to double up and use yours on Chelsea's? Holy shit. Oh Thanks for God. the butthole compliment, honeys. That's very... Oh, and then to answer your question about um, how do I keep pu- keep a pussy clean, uh, that's impossible. Dawn. So just enjoy the, um, the, the five minutes of fresh, clean pussy that you get right out of the shower because then it just starts stinking right back up. As soon as you walk, take a step. That's just because it's a pussy. Just life. You know? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> oh, one thing I want to say before we go to the next question about Paige's butthole. Yeah. Is as soon as she found out that her butthole's phenomenal, we haven't had anal at all. I don't, kind of don't want to wreck it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. But that's not the reason. I just don't feel like fucking having anal. Right. How, on a uh, how often do y'all have anal anyway? Once a month. Really? No. No. Like, we haven't had it in like five months. Okay. So true. Longer. Okay. Yeah. It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> oh my God. All right. All right. Yeah, so I was just needing some advice. Like, I was with my girlfriend for eight years, and everything was fine. And then, like, all of a sudden, she just up and leaves out of the blue. I never hear her again. No explanation, no nothing. And I'm totally at a loss for what I'm supposed to. I put a messenger, a caller, she won't respond. Like, I have no clue what's going on. So, uh, yeah, just wanted to hear what you guys thought about that. Like, damn, man. that I'm sorry. That's tough, dude. Yeah. She maybe. just up and leaves after eight years. Maybe the noise. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. That it sounds like you have kids. Like, you had, were those kids in the back? Like, what? was that the TV? The TV? It was TV or kids. Know. I don't oh. know. Dude. That'll do it. So, like, you had no, you thought things were great. There was nothing. She never came to you about anything. She just literally just ups and leaves. Is she okay? You know? 
sounds like she probably is with somebody. That would be my as- assumption. Because if she's like, you know, you're in a relationship and she's having issues and she wants to leave, I feel like she would probably talk to you. And you hate when people leave people on, like, red or I think ghosting so, them. So that is, like, next level I think it's up. so rude to ghost someone or to not be like, hey, like, to keep somebody wondering, mm-hmm. like, what did I do wrong? I changed my mind. This isn't working out. Whatever. Even yeah. if you think it's going to be awkward or even if you think that people are going to get mad, it doesn't matter. Like, have a little bit of respect so for people. So they can move on. Yeah, but especially if you've been with someone for eight years and she just ups and bounce. To me, I would think, okay, something's wrong other than just bounce like she's with someone. That would be my... Yeah, that's really So you ha- all I can he think hasn't of. reached out to her at all? Or he's tried and she hasn't answered? Yeah, I think that's the case. That's sad. It is sad, dude. You know, I would definitely, I wouldn't give up just yet. I would try to figure out, like, at least talk, like, you know, at least give her, I guess she needs time. At least give her some time, figure out what's going on. At least talk to her. If she's like, you know, I'm I'm done, I'm, I'm bouncing, dude, you deserve better than someone that's just going to bounce after eight years with no with explanation. No explanation. Yeah. For real. Yeah, you deserve an answer. I'm sorry. That's a tough... Oh, dude. I've never had that happen. Have you? No. I wouldn't know how to deal with it. I would just want, yeah, an explanation. So I can move forward with my life because that's... Exactly. That's wrong. And some people either, A, don't want to give that person common decency and respect. And then some people are so embarrassed by their actions or embarrassed by what they're mm-hmm. doing that they don't want to hurt that person anymore. So they think it's easier just to, just to hide. And it's not be no. an adult and have a conversation. Yeah. Cause you know, she's holding that into like, Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, how could you not? You're Dude, with somebody I gar- for eight years. I guarantee you she's with somebody. No doubt. I'm yeah. like 90% sure. Bro. I'm sorry, man. Yeah. Best of luck. Honeys. Best of luck to you, honeys. Love you, and thank you for calling in. Yes, you'll be okay. This podcast is sponsored by HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get fresh, pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking fun, easy, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh offers 50 menu and market items to choose from every week including vegetarian, calorie-smart, and gourmet options providing plenty of variety. HelloFresh makes the holidays easier. Your weekly delivery is made to help you cut back on meal prep and clean up. And their limited edition holiday box delivers everything you need to cook up a family feast. I personally do not like cleaning up after cooking a long meal. Nobody does. So go to hellofresh.com slash viral 14 and use code VIRAL14 to get 14 free meals and 3 free gifts. That's right. Go to HelloFresh.com slash VIRAL14 and use code VIRAL14 to get 14 free meals and 3 free gifts. America's number one meal kit. Hey, y'all. Um, super huge fan. Been a fan for a long time. But I was calling in because I'm sitting here thinking about my life. I have a husband and a bay friend, and I'm not going to call him a boyfriend because he's a grown man, and we have a long-term relationship, and I live with neither one of them, and I'm perfectly fine with that. So I just got back from what I call a dictation to Mm. go see my bay friend out of state, and my husband took me to the airport to go to my dictation. Oh, I mean vacation and pick me up from the airport um and I just I mean the whole time I was there I was like this is really weird but then I thought about it they both know about each other and it's cool it is what it is this is my second marriage and this is exactly what I wanted I want to have my cake and I want somebody to be able to pick up the phone whenever I freaking need somebody to Amen. fill a tire change my change something, hang something up on the wall. Other than that, I'm cool with being at home with my cats and my plants. I don't know. I just had to get that off my chest. I'm really, 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 really high right now (laughs) off weed. Nothing else. 
<laughs> but that's all. Love you guys. Love you, honeys. Love you, honey. Hey, dude, if that's what you want and that's working for you and your husband knows and he's fucking dropping you off at the airport to fuck. And the, <clears throat> and the other guy's okay with it, I see nothing weird about mm-hmm. that. You're happy. You're happy. That's what you said. This is what I wanted. Mm-hmm. You're doing it. You got what you wanted. I don't and... see anything as long as everyone is okay with everything. Mm-hmm. Dude, enjoy enjoy your life, honeys. Yeah. Oh, I'm happy for you. Getting double dick and... Getting that dickcation? And not having to live with either one. Oh, she's really living she's the dream. She's fucking living. Dude, she's really living the dream. Oh Two my. daddies. Oh, Oh, honeys, we need to, yeah, you're living all of our fantasies. I wonder if they, the men are fucking women, other women. I don't know if that's what they, if that's what's part of the thing, if that's what she, you know, mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Wow. She's married, right? Mm-hmm. To the second marriage. Yeah. I, I don't think there's anything weird about that. If that's, Dope. if everyone's, yeah. If everyone's happy, then stay that way. Right. Happy for you, sugar. Mm-hmm. Enjoy your life. Enjoy those you, dicks. Yeah. Those dictations. You're, mm-hmm. You're owed that. You 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 need to enjoy life. And this is what it's all about. And that's what you want. I'm happy for you. Oh, hell yeah. Cats and plants, baby. Hey, this is my third time making a voicemail because I get anxious and I mess up. But my name's Michaela Thibodeau, and I just wanted to share a quick little story because I thought it was funny and I want to share it. But I work at a little gas station down south, and it's a mini gas station. It's not like an actual gas station, so I have to call from the inside of the grocery store that I work at to go use the bathroom so someone can come out here and I can go on the inside. But whenever I called, it's been like 30 minutes, nobody answered, so I said, you know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to poop in my Pringles can. I just got done eating my little mini Pringles. I go out in the back. I grabbed my tissue, and I, I shit my Pringles can. But I thought, you know, I'm going to carry this to my grave because it was a little embarrassing, and I thought the cameras were going to see me. But luckily, nobody said anything. The next day at work, it was all good. But I just I just think it's funny. You know, I had a poop in a Pringles can in the back of the shed at my gas station because Kroger didn't want to answer the phone call. Kroger. I just thought it was funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, my God. Okay. Wow. That's actually kind of amazing. That First she- off, I just want to get, she said, mini Pringles can. Not the long, big one. Yeah. The mini. <laughs> and I'm telling you right now, I am not trusting that motherfucker to hold all my shit. No. No can do. A long one, I could probably work up the courage to try to trust it. A mini one? My shits are 12 inches long. That would destroy the mini can of Pringles. She's not. No, she no. She trusted that too. No, it, it would mine would have overfilled and over no got it all over my hands and shit. No. How do you? That is a really good aim to be shitting in a mini Pringles. Well, you can. just hold the opening up to your butthole. You know, if I it's just, solid. I just don't feel like it'd be easy. <laughs> it wouldn't. But I would have just shit on the ground outside behind the shed. <laughs> you know. But man, if you gotta go, oh god, there's no worse feeling. So I I don't blame you for I've done so oh I've you know yeah can't re- remember off the top of my head if I've shit like in thing I'm sure I have you know like yeah I had to shit on the side of the road but I've done that yeah I hate that but never into anything besides my pants I don't think I've shit in I got I'm not remembering anything but a mini you might as well just shit on the ground girl mm-hmm. <laughs> she's way too trusting. She's way too nice. Way too nice. <laughs> wow. We uh, should try to shit into a mini sprinkle can. That'd make great for a vlog. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do it for my OnlyFans. <laughs> yes. Uh, I love how she said, I'm going to carry this to my grave and then calls us. Oh, we appreciate y'all calling in and telling us. Dude, y'all have been telling some good stories that you're like, we never thought we'd tell. You know, we love it, dude. This is awesome. We don't tell our closest friends, but we'll tell you. I love it. I love it, too. Yes, thanks for calling in, and I'm glad you got to shit, honeys. Chelsea, Paige, my name's Matthew, and I was a clown for two years traveling the country, you know, with a pretty big circus, um, one that started with an R and ended with brothers. But 
after the circus and on the circus, I've always had people Facebooking me or finding me on Instagram or something like that. And I'm a queer clown. I'm a queer person. And, you know, they just are into makeup, like almost like they find clown makeup sexy. And uh, that just got me thinking, maybe I could ask you a question. Can clowns be sexy? And do you find anything about clown makeup sexy? Would you be into a clown kink? I don't know. Me personally, I couldn't fuck a clown. Well, I could, but... Technically, we could do anything we set our minds to. Yeah, but I'm not looking for clowns. Right. Honestly, damn, I've never even given clowns a second thought in a sexual way. (laughs) I've never given a clown a chance. I've never thought about it, but thinking of a clown in my head, I'm not like, ooh... Mm, that's turning me on, but it's not opposite either. So that red foam no- nose is oh fuck yeah. Just swiping up and down. Oh. Uh, dude, there is really a kink for everyone. Yeah, it maybe it's kind of like a role play deal, you know? Oh, dude, if yeah. you dressed up as, as a clown and did a, did some OnlyFans shit, but you did it to where, like, you were anonymous. Like, people aren't going to know. If you're dressed up and you're not going to know who you are and you're just sitting there jacking off, you'd yeah. make so much Holy money. Holy frick. So much money. Yes. Clown jerk-offs. Clown Whoa. jerk. Whoa, this is like. <laughs> he just figured out we his just, career. Did we just become millionaires with a, with a, with a business idea? <laughs> Me and you dress up as clowns like, huh? Fingering ourselves. <laughs> oh, my God. No, I've Damn. never given it a thought. Um, I don't really know what to say. Brett fucked me when I dressed up as a clown, so, I, I mean, and I he got that. off. Brett, how was that? Was it hard to get off? No, it was great. It was, you know. was, the, was her clown makeup and the costume turning you on, or did you just not care and you wanted to nut? Uh, I mean, I, I wanted to nut, but, uh, I mean, yeah, it looked great. I had a good time. It was in here too. I think it was it, in this room. I think it was something about being different. Yeah. That yeah. made him aroused. So holy shit. Yeah, I'm not like into clown you know, yeah. stuff, but yeah. It was well fun. apparently people are. It's Halloween. Trying right? something new. People are, man. It's kinky. I'm not mad about it. Kinky clown sex? Yeah. Kinkyclownsex.com. <gasps> is that a real oh my god, don't look that up. <laughs> what if it is and it's a link to our OnlyFans? Oh, yeah, look Kinky it up. Clown. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Let me Google this. Uh, Hold on. We change your website. <laughs> it's no longer, yeah. Kinky. Kinky. Hey, so K I N K Y. Clown sex dot com. POV. Oh, it's not letting me look it up. Hmm. Kinky. It just keeps saying try again. Web page is not available. Oh, it's ours. Guess we're going to have to capture the name. Wow. Whoa. Hmm. Maybe. That could, that, could be the we- that could be the official website of the Viral Podcast. Oh, my gosh. Imagine he's doing, like, uh, just a whole porn deal with clown. Dude, this is a thing. I Google kinky clown sex. Mm-hmm. F- Cosmopolitan. What's it like to have sex with a clown? Clown sex kink. I love role playing as a clown during sex. Dude, this diary of a sex clown. Oh, wow. Life lessons from a clown fetish. Oh, this is... We're behind. Is, we're behind. We're way behind. And it's 2021. I feel like I should have gotten my shit together by now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the well, love of my life has a clown fetish. What the fuck? It's just something that I would have never thought about. Yeah, because I guess like, it's, like, scary, but... Like, uh, not. I'm trying to think of something. Like, uh... <laughs> Her. Like, like you don't really see it on Pornhub. Clown. Like her. Like this grandma. You know? Do I know people have grandma fetishes. Yeah. People have uh pregnancy fetishes. But Love women pe- who are pregnant. But that's Pete. like but that's like normal stuff. Old 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 ladies, pregnant people. But like do people have like pinata fetishes? Uh well, have you ever watched My Strange Addiction? Yep, yep. That guy was like having sex with his, with his car, car, his like yeah. tailpipe. He was <sighs> fucking it. I just never thought of clowns, but I wouldn't exit. I mean, if I was horny, and there was a clown with a big cock, I'd probably fuck him. And a tongue. 
Yeah. <laughs> All you have to do is close your eyes if you don't like clowns. Right, and clowns don't scare me, so I keep my eyes open. Perfect. Hmm. Wow. Watch Greg be a clown for Halloween. <laughs> he tunes in. Are you getting enough? I bet you want more, right? Well, adamandeve.com want to give you more. They want to make you feel better than you have ever felt. Do you know why Chelsea jerks off three times a day? Because she can. And you can too. Bust on over to adamandeve.com and search for the toy that's perfect for you and your crevices. Go check out adamandeve.com today. Select any one item and get 50% off, including free shipping. That's right. Just enter offer code VIRAL at checkout and get 50% off almost any one item. That's V-I-R-A-L at adamandeve.com. Uh. Hey, Chelsea, it's Brian Forder calling you back. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, you remember that thing called Yahoo Messenger? A few years ago, I met a chick on there, went to her house, and uh, knocked on the door. I'll make this a real quick version. Knocked on the door, and she opened up the door. And Well, pretty much the first thing I noticed was the smell of dog shit coming out of her apartment. Well... I go in, I'm young, dumb, full of cum, horny. We're making out on the couch, and I'm just, like, kind of look, looking around the apartment for a big dog turd as I'm making out with her. <laughs> well, uh, she uh, looks back at me, and she goes, you want to go to my room? I'm like, fuck yeah, I want to go to your room. Won't smell like dog shit in there. Anyways, I went to her room. One smell in the world worse than dog shit, it's cat shit. So next thing I know, I got one leg up on one shoulder, one leg on the other shoulder, and she was not a tiny girl. And uh, pounding away, and my eyes were open. I still had to smell cat shit everywhere. Uh, lights were on. I noticed right away her dresser is about three inches away from her bed. And I'm thinking to myself, holy shit, this is pretty bad because the litter box was on top of the bed oh. filled with cat shit. Anyways, at this point, I close my eyes, and I think of my sister's best friend from high school. <laughs> I think of that hot aunt we all have. I think of anything in the entire world to make me jizz. So as soon as I start jizzing, I pull out and start to jizz, and like a dumbass, what do I look at? I look at that litter box that is on top of her dresser. Oh, my God. That dresser is right next to her bed, so the litter box filled with cat shit is about, about three or four inches from her pillow. As soon as I look at the litter box, I see a cat's asshole pouring out with diarrhea cat shit <sighs> as I'm jizzing. Now, oh, my God. That's where it's, you Ooh. think it's starting to get good, but it gets a little bit worse because uh -huh. of the fact cats do what? Once they take a shit, they start scratching and kicking. Mm. This diarrhea cat shit kitty litter hits her on the stomach. So then she decides to try to get all sexy and everything by rubbing my jizz all into her stomach. So guess what she does? No. She rubs cat diarrhea with my cum all over her stomach. I'm gonna puke. Then she tries to get sexier by licking her finger. <gasps> You're lying. Now, if that's not the worst sex story anybody's had in their life, and I swear to God it's all true, let me know. I love him. I, first off, great podcast voice. Yes. He needs his own radio show. Yeah. You want Second to join? off, you're lying. Oh, there is nothing worse than shit smell. Animal and, shit. Ooh, cat litter. Ugh. Dude, first off, the fact that he walks in, he's making out, and he's just keeps smelling it and keeps smelling it, but he continues. Dude, he must have been really horny. Because mm -hmm. that would have grossed me out so bad to where I would have had to be like, dude, I, dude, something. And does she not, is she so immune to it, she doesn't smell it? Probably. That's bad. That's bad. Somebody's got to tell her. Oh, I, I can oh, understand gonna... cat litter smell or Ooh, dog shit. I just got sick to my stomach thinking about her rubbing it, rubbing it. Oh, and the smell of semen. Stop. Ooh. Semen smells like a uh, pancake batter. <coughs> oh my God. This quick. Oh man. That's bad. I, I honestly don't even know what to say. Did he say she licked her finger? Yes. Paige. Yes. All right, so maybe that's her fetish cat shit. Oh my god! Oh no! Let's. I gotta think. I get. 
Oh, let's do something else. <laughs> let's take let's do take, let's take another question because that's bad. Honestly, he's got the worst sex story of all time. And if you think you can top that, call the podcast because I don't think you can. Nobody can top that. That's disgusting. Okay. So, um, we have a little bit of an issue. Okay. I have like zero sex drive. My husband's trying to fuck me twenty four seven. How do I get him to leave me alone? I'm not interested. Please help me. By the way, this is Lacey. And Brandy. Lacey and Brandy. Love y'all. Thanks for calling in. Damn, is it, I wonder if it's him or... <laughs> First off, our... Mine and your... The caller, Lacey... Our, our brains are totally separate because you, my first thought was when you said I have no sex drive and my husband wants to fuck me all the time, my first thought was, okay, what can you do mm-hmm. to bring up that sex drive? And she was like shutting it down like, no, T- what do I do to tell him to, to stay off like, me? How the fuck do I get away from this guy? You know, so our, I'm just thinking that's impossible. You, you're married to someone who <clears throat> has a penis, has a penis and who is horny and he needs to fuck. Mm-hmm. So you need to, I don't know, like spread them, spread them, get your hormones checked. And if he's like, if you're like, you know, I work all the time, I clean the house, he does, then tell him to step up if he doesn't do anything. Hey, if you, you know, yeah, what is it that's turning you off? Yeah, well, you know, like uh, when you go to a car dealership or anywhere and they're just begging you to buy something, and you're kind of like, ugh, maybe he's just begging that much. That's true, dude. It, to an annoying fucking extent. Like, you want to feel the moment instead of just like, hey, you want to fuck? You want, yeah. I hate that. That's true. If he, like, straight up, like, just stopped and was like, you know what? I'm like, you would probably be like, oh, what yeah. the fuck, man? Like, he's not, what's the deal? I beg, guarantee it. The games and relationships is just impeccable. And people, they, and, and people have been married for decades and they're still playing games, dude. God, for man. real. Oh my God, no, honeys! Why don't you want to have sex? You need to talk to him. Mm-hmm. Because I it, feel like that's what holds a relationship together is fucking huge. And if he's not, if it's like, well, I just don't enjoy it with him. He's not. He doesn't do this. He's not good. Talk about that. If you're like, I'm just tired all the time. Talk about that. Take some. You know, let's change something to get get a load off of you. Or if you're just like, I just have zero sex drive and I, I and there's no reason for it, get your hormones checked. Get your whatever. Go to the there's, doctor. There's something there, you know, like sex is so good for you. It's so healthy for you mentally and physically. Like you feel like it's just, I don't know, that that science or something, but it's good for your body. Like you need to be fucking girl. Mm-hmm. She does. Come on, honeys. Come on. Fuck your husband. Talk to him. Talk. Or at least work out something where it's every once in a while. Yeah. But I get the begging. Brett right begs? It only annoys me when he begs. Brett, that you Maybe beg? that's how she... Well, if he's like... If I'm doing stuff and he's like being all creepy and like, oh, let's fuck. It's just like, I'm trying to get shit done. Like, mm-hmm. back it up. You want it to happen. I just want it to happen and foreplay and... Yeah. And then right? fuck. But most of the time you're like, hey, are we fucking or what? That's you. That's you. Oh, he called you out. He said, that's you. Yeah. So are we boning? Well, or? I fell asleep in 10 seconds. I got to know. Hey, we fucking? <laughs> are we doing this or do I need to close my eyes? Yeah. <laughs> wow. You have 10 seconds. And it's great. No complaints. But that's totally normal in a in a marriage or a relationship, whether you're being together a short time or a long time. Like, did y'all used to fuck or did you used to have it? You know, is this something new or have you always, you know what I mean? Like, communicate. Big time. Talk about it. Big time. Talk about it. Hi. Hi. Um, I don't have a question, but I wanted to share with you guys because uh, I love you so much and I wish we were friends in real life. Um, that everybody in my family now walks around uh, and crank farts, um, including my six-year-old who did it in class today so I guess maybe this is just like a proud mom pat yourself on the back moment um that your kid walked around the corner and lifted her leg and did a crank fart and said 
Got him. Got him. <laughs> love you, sugars. Love you. You guys are the best. Keep it up. I love to see you shine. Thank you. That's very that's very sweet. Thank love you so much. Love to see you shine. That that's, hit. Yeah, that's damn. Thank you. We appreciate the love and support. Um, if you're listening and you don't know what a crank fart is, something that I started doing a while back, um, that I really only post on Snapchat. Um, mm, yeah. and so if you got a fart, you know, make it fun. Don't just sit there and fart, crank it. Okay. Mm-hmm. And what you do is you got to stand up and follow me on Snapchat. You'll see me do it 10 times a day. You really just get your arm, crank it up, crank up that fart. Lift up a leg, and you got to do it at the same time, okay? Lift up the leg, and then as you bring the, the crank down, you let out the fart. There's really an art to it. you got to do it really at the same time. Yeah, when you bring down your arm, you lift up your leg, and it... Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. And that's called a crank fart. And, dude, I meet people in public, at shows... Dude, and people are obsessed with the crank fart. They're like, dude, we don't fart anymore regular. We crank it. And it, 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 number one, it makes me happy, but it's almost like I don't realize all the dumb shit I post on the internet until I meet someone. And I'm like, oh God, I post, oh you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah, I do. But somebody the, came up to me and said, hey, are you the girl who farted blue powder out of your ass? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's just, I don't, yeah, you don't realize, you know, that how many people see what you post, but. The crank, dude, the crank farts, people have like, there, it has, and oh, I've had a lot of people be like, dude, I can't, I can't watch y'all fart, it's grossing me out. I'd be the same way. <laughs> I'd be the same, so I get it. But people like, think farts are so funny. Yeah. And they just think it's hilarious, and they're like, my kids do the crank fart, we do the, people love. The community, cr- community is vibing with the farts. Oh, fart community is huge. Massive. Yeah. People think it's either funny, or it's even a sexual kink. And that's so let them crank, crank it out, crank them out, you know. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness, players got a fart, players got a fart, honeys. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> hey, uh, you want to go to Cheesecake Factory or yeah? Do we have one more question? No, honeys, that's the last one. That's the last question, yeah. That was it, honeys. Well, I'm sad, honey. What are you getting at Cheesecake Cheese Factory? Your uh, falafel. You always get the same pasta. I switch it up. No, I stick to the same thing. Because the menu is so good. Everything on the menu, you're not going to find something bad. No. So I every like time the I, egg rolls. Mm, we're getting those. We're splurging. Avocado egg rolls, falafel, pasta. What are you getting? Main entree. I don't know. I don't know. You switch it up. All the time. I'm going to switch it up. I have no clue. Mm. Orange chicken's good. Their orange chicken. I don't know. We have so many. Ooh, the lemonade. Strawberry lemonade. We get strawberry lemonade. I love the sugar they put around the rim. Oh, my God. Pussy Robin. What's up, Brett? Louisiana Cajun chicken oh pasta. God. Is mm. that one good? Yes. They put the sugar on my tongue. I've never heard that song. Whoa. For real? All right, well, honeys, call in. Yes, honeys, give us a call. Ask us a question. Tell us a story. Could be anything, funny, sad, whatever, dude. Like, let's just let us know what you want us to talk about. Tell us about if you ever tripped out on mushrooms. Oh, yeah. Or if you want our opinion on something. Like, it don't matter, dude. Like, just call in and just say what's up, Mm -hmm. you know? But ask us something, too. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, guys, what up? Tell us how to uh, get a mole off of your skin. Because I have a big mole on my side, and it's kind of like a third nipple. You got to take a uh, straight blade to it. Oh, Greg man. will do it for you. It's too big. I'd bleed to death. Yeah, then you, go, you got to go to the doctor. They'll, they'll remove it. Yep. Okay. Yes, honeys. Yes, honeys. <laughs> All right, let's give them the phone number. You ready? Yes. <clears throat> phone number is 442-777-3332. Give us a call. Um, Uh, Yes, give us a call. And always remember, you're doing great. You're looking good. And and fuck fuck what everybody everybody else thinks. thinks.